The mission of ADECA is to strengthen Alabama's communities and the people that live there. The federal programs that ADECA manages address critical needs across our state. As a former council member, former mayor, and past president of the Alabama League of Municipalities, I am concerned about our ability to help rural Alabama and our state's neediest citizens with the elimination of certain programs in the America First budget. ADECA's mantra is local leadership and state partnership, and we know that local leaders are closest to the people they represent, and they know the issues and challenges that affect their communities. Dr. Howard Rubenstein is mayor of the city of Saralyn and president of the Alabama League of Municipalities. He recently spoke to us about his concerns on the proposed cuts. The Alabama League of Municipalities was formed in 1935, and it serves as an advocacy group for the uh, 462 towns and cities in the state of Alabama. We're the one umbrella organization that represents all of these various communities and allows them to come together with one voice to uh, speak as to what is important to our individual towns and cities. I'm Mayor Howard Rubenstein. I'm currently serving as president of the Alabama League of Municipalities. I've been asked to comment about the uh, America First proposed budget. And I do uh, have some serious concerns about the proposed budget. I understand the desire to cut excess spending, but many of the programs that would be eliminated or very sharply curtailed under this uh, proposal would be devastating to our cities and towns. An example is the CDBG program. This program for our community of Saraland uh, made it possible for us to have a senior center and a youth recreation center. Neither of these very well used facilities would exist right now if it wasn't for uh, these allocations. And I, I just really hate the thought of these invaluable services going away. I think it's very important that uh, the decision makers consult with local officials. We're the ones that are closest to the citizens. We're the ones who I think are best positioned to prioritize what is and is not needed for our communities. And I am hoping at, and praying that our elected officials on the national level will look at this and consider the ramifications of uh, whatever cuts that are being proposed uh, for the budget. The Alabama League of Municipalities plans to work closely with the National League of Cities and we're going to try and prioritize for the federal government those programs that we think are absolutely essential and hope that we can preserve them for the benefit of our citizens. Mayors have mentioned a lot of the other programs, especially uh, dealing with rural Alabama, and I think this is our most vulnerable population, and definitely we need to look very closely at the ramifications of curtailing this funding. It could be disastrous. The League of Municipalities greatly supports ADECA. ADECA has provided wonderful service for our state's citizens, and we stand with them and support their endeavors and will work uh, as hard as we can to preserve the wonderful work they're doing in our state.